So in this problem, we're told to verify that the function satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem on the given interval. Then find all numbers c that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. So let's first and make sure that this function satisfies the three hypotheses. So the first one is that it has to be continuous, the interval, the closed interval of a to b. So this is just basically a to b. So is it continuous? So any of these numbers here, we could plug in and we'd get a value. So then that means it's continuous. Well, what about differentiable? So we could take the derivative of this, which would just be um, minus 4 sine of 4x, and we could plug in any of these values and it would still work. So then that means it's differentiable too. What about is f of a equal to f of b? So let's test that. So a is basically pi over 16, b is 7 pi over 16. So f of pi over 16, if we test that, we'll do the cosine of 4 pi, or 4 times pi over 16, which is just 4 pi over 16. This basically just equals cosine of pi over 4. So we can test that in a calculator in a second, but let's do the other values. So f of 7 pi over 16, let's test this. So we have the cosine of 4 times 7 pi over 16. Uh, and so that's basically going to be equal to the cosine of 28 pi over 16. But we can simplify this. We can uh, divide both of them by 4, which will just equal 7 pi over 4. So let's write that here, 7 pi over 4. And so you want to take out your calculator, uh, and you want to plug in and make sure they're the same. Let's do the cosine of pi over 4. My calculator is in radians, so. And when I do that, I get 0 0.707. So let's do the next one. So cosine of 7 pi divided by 4. When you do that, you should get the same thing, which is 0 0.707. So then that means this also checks out. So f of b is uh, equal to f of a. So now let's do uh, what Rolle's theorem actually tells us. So Rolle's theorem tells us that f prime of c is equal to 0. So let's just take the derivative of this and set it equal to 0. And then our value x is going to be um, our answer. So we have f of x is equal to the cosine of 4x. So f prime of x, our derivative, is going to be equal to the derivative of our outside, so cosine, which is minus sine, with respect to our inside, times our outside, which is the der derivative of our inside, which is 4. So this is going to be minus 4 times the sine 4x. So what we want to do is set this equal to 0 and solve. So if we divide both sides by minus 4, we're going to get the sine of 4x is equal to 0 divided by minus 4 is just 0. And so let's think about this problem. So basically, we need when the sine of x equals the 0. And so when does, uh, for what value of x in this uh, formula here, so sine of what equals 0? Well, we know that the sine of pi is equal to 0. So basically, we need 4x to equal to pi. Because if 4x equals pi, then we're going to have 0. So if we solve for x in this, we're going to divide by 4. We'll get that x is equal to pi over 4. And so what we solved for here is, ba is basically c. But we just use the variable x. So our answer is going to be c equal to pi over 4. 